Hello guys and welcome back. So on today's session we'll be looking at ways of controlling stepper motor using Excel sheet. So uh, to do so we will have uh, multiple sets of uh, predefined parameters, parameters that's written on Excel and it will be passed down to Arduino to control the movement of the motor. So let's go through a quick demonstration. So the, I run the script now and uh, different sets of data is being sent to Arduino which is uh, controlling its movement as you can see here. Please note the speed of the um, uh, motor is increasing incrementally as well as the um, angle is changing and the direction is uh, alternating between clockwise and anti-clockwise and the parameter below is the delay time, is the time uh, we give for the motor to rotate before sending the next sets of data. And that's the last one. Okay, finished. So, um, initially we have these sets of data on our Excel sheet. Uh, to achieve this result, we have these sets of data on our Excel sheet. Uh, we have the parameter motor speed, mod angle, uh, mod dir, and runtime. Uh, so, as, you, as I mentioned earlier, the speed increasing incrementally. Um, then, at the last instance, we have uh, the speed set to, to RPM. So, the values are quite arbitrary for demonstration purposes. Um, I'm just alternating between the uh, direction of the uh, stepper motor's rotation. In case of the runtime, uh, is determined uh, based on the relationship between the motor speed and the angle. So let's have this saved in our directory where the Python, Python script is. So save as and let's call it um, as motor underscore scroll parameters and if we come down here file format let's set it to CSV UTF-8 comma delimited and save and press save so I, I've already saved it but um, I'm just going to replace it for now okay I'm free to close this now and uh, let's run through our script okay this is our Python script uh, where most of the actions is, are happening um, so the script is based on the earlier session we had with some alterations. Let's run through the script line by line. Um, here initially we have three modules that's being imported, which are pandas, time and pi serial here. Uh, we have left the uh, variables, the, in particular the constant variable same as before. So we have mod run set as one and indexes from A to D and we have this character for the new line. Then just like in our previous uh, series, we are creating an object from the serial class and assigning the designed port and board rate. After uh, we open the uh, serial and uh, wait uh, and let the Python to wait for two seconds. This is done in order to get the serial opened up properly. Otherwise, uh, if we send the data immediately, first sets of data could be missed out. Then using pandas module, uh, from the read CSV class, we are get generating an object called a data and passing over the CSV file we created earlier, which is mod parameter.csv. We are taking one of the columns in this um, 
case in this case it's mod speed and turning it into a list this is done uh, because we first need the length of the list which is um, 8 in our case and it will be used in the subsequent for loop so in the for loop we are looping through uh, from 0 to the um, length of our list which is 8 where we are using the incrementing index to represent the rows of the column and uh, from those from these columns we'll be extracting the uh, data sets initially we are start starting with mod speed variable in row index index of zero then turning that uh, value into a string from integer this string format is necessary to send a value over to the serial So we are doing the same with the remaining columns uh, corresponding to the parameters mod angle, mod dir, and mod uh, runtime. Uh, please note we are not um, converting the uh, mod run, uh, runtime to, to string value because we'll be using this value in our script here. Once we capture the data, uh, we encode this data to UTF-8 and send it over to this serial as per demonstration here. Between each of the increments, we let the Python to sleep for runtime amount. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, this was based on the relationship between the speed and the angle rotation. This way we allow the stepper motor to complete its cycle before sending the next set of data. And towards the end we are just sending a uh, printing data sent just to confirm that the data actually been sent to the serial. Okay, once we are done with, with the Python script, let's um, open our Arduino IDE. And here we have um, to receive data from the serial and not much had changed uh, compared to the previous episode which is number six so um, we are receiving the data the same way as we received the data from GUI but let me just briefly run through this for the for this um, episode so initially we are defining the ports uh, variables and void setup all the way here then in our void loop as the data is transmitted the, to the, from Python to serial uh, we capture all the characters um, and parse the data using this function uh, parse the data This captures the required data using separators that we've um, mentioned earlier and assigns all the data to the parameters here. These parameters are uh, used in the um, functions below, which is stepper clockwise and stepper anticlockwise. And what it does, it allows the stepper motor to uh, set in motion and control its direction. Uh, detailed description of the functions have been discussed in episode 6. Okay, let's uh, run through the uh, script again and a little demonstration of the script. So we're initiating our script and data is being sent. Let me open up the output for the Arduino so this is data being sent and this is data that's being received as you can see the data the two data corresponds to each other so based on this um, data that's being sent and received the stepper motor is moving
Okay, why is this important? Uh, I believe this gives us a better control over our stepper motor and this can be used in many applications including robots, 3D printers, CNC machines or any other units that require a stepper motor. Great, uh, thank you for watching and I shall see you in our next series.